So the third element of the recall is the present. Again, we've got young Polly here, just starting off learning how to do the present. And the way we're doing this is by Gail sitting on the edge of a chair and teaching Polly that nice position to come and sit in between her feet, just getting her used to the position. And you want the dog to be able to come in and present as closely as they possibly can to your body, ideally with their chest touching your legs. For dogs, being very conscious of body space, that's not always a natural position to be in. So by doing this, you're rewarding the dog significantly while they're in that position. She's getting really comfortable just sitting in between Gail's feet in that present position and enjoying the reward that she's getting. Your feet need to be parallel. So you're giving your dog a good target to present into. And what Gail's doing here is she's just luring Polly from each side because inevitably the, sometimes we don't always stand straight in front of the dog. We kind of waver a bit as we're walking away from them. And so the dog might have to do an angle present. And particularly when you come to exercises like retrieve, where the dumbbell may go in any direction. You need your dog used to coming towards you and understanding that no matter what direction they're coming in from, they need to target themselves in between your two feet. So that's just teaching how to start to come in on different angles of present. Good girl. That's brilliant. OK. Well done. Good. Well done. Good girl. So once the handler then stands up, one of the first things we do is we actually ask the dog to sit and then we present ourselves to the dog. So again, the dog is now getting used to the present position when we stand up. And what Gail's now doing is just taking some little steps back with Polly coming towards her still in the present. So she's really getting the idea that it's the contact of her chest with the handler's legs that is the, pre the present and the important part of the present. And all of that just starts off teaching your dog the present position, which obviously they will then move on towards building on once they get more experienced. The ideal is to have the dog presenting in between your feet and as close to your legs as it can, but that does depend to an extent on the conformation of the dog and also on the size of the dog. Polly's a puppy who's going to grow, so she's going to be starting to adjust her position as she grows. But if you've got a dog that's very wide chested, then that's sometimes very difficult for them to be able to present as close as a more narrow chested dog. So now what I'm going to do with Sprout is getting him used to coming in from different angles, but from a little bit more of a distance. Come, Sprout, come, good boy. So I'm going to reward him for that, throw the tip bit away. Sprout, come, Sprouty, yeah, good puppy. Come, sit, good boy. Ready, get it. Sprout, come, sit. So what he's doing is he's really learning that this is the position that the reward comes from and that he's got to come in straight in between my feet. Ready, get it. Sprout, come. Good boy, well done. Let's throw the treat away. Sprout. Come, good boy, well done. Okay, <laughs> good lad. So in terms of actually teaching that movement into the present, just that last metre of when the dog has come to you is a separate exercise in itself. I mean, what we want the dog doing is thinking about targeting your hands as he comes into the present with his head up, so he's not bashing into your legs with his head down. And the way we do that is just have the dog sitting in front of us. Sit. Good boy. I've just taken a step back from him. I'm just going to put my hands out. Good boy. And lure him into the present. Come and sit. Sit. <laughs> sit. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Let's try that again. Oop. Here we are, puppy. Sit. Good boy. So it's just literally a step away. Come and sit. Good boy. So it's just that very last metre of getting the dog into that sit. Ready? <laughs> it's a bit sausage happy. Come. Sit. Good boy. Come. Sit. Good boy. So I want the dog coming in with his head up. So he's thinking about his position. Then you can take a couple of steps away. Sit. 
Wait. Still exactly the same exercise. Come. Good boy. So he's targeting himself under my hands. Ready? Whoop. Sit. Good boy. And then you gradually increase the distance. Wait. Sprouty. Come. So he's targeting the hands and actually coming in under your hands with his head up in a nice position. Good boy. Okay. So we saw with Polly, we were getting her used to running through the legs. What I'm doing with Sprout, because he's learnt the present, is I'm going to throw in some present. So he's going to be coming at me at quite a speed and still able to control himself and present. So I will go through the legs. Sprouty! And what you're doing is using the dog's name, Sprouty, to get them to turn on the name, Sprouty. And then I'm going to pop in a present, Sprouty. Quick, quick, quick. Come. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. OK. So that's just getting him used to coming at a speed and going into the present. Ready? Sprouty. Get it. Good boy. Sprouty. Good boy. Sprouty. Come. Good boy, well done, lovely. Good boy. Okay, good puppy. So that's just speeding up the cum and starting to put the present into the cum, but in a fun way. Good boy. And then the other thing that we do with the present, Presto, good boy, is once we've got the dog in the present, sit, good boy, is building again from what we did with Polly of just moving backwards saying cum. Come, 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 sit. And snaking with the present. So you can move in any direction. Woo and the dog is still maintaining that position. Good boy, come, sit. Good boy, well done. So he's still keeping that present position and that body contact. Come, 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 come. Good boy, come, come. Come, 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 good boy, come and sit. Good boy, well done. Okay. So they're just learning that they can come in any direction and that come always means um, they've got that body contact. Sprout obviously being quite a small dog. Good boy. He's in a very different position between my legs and yeah, perhaps you would with a larger dog where the head might be up here. Good boy, well done. Good. Okay.